。乾杯乾杯乾杯乾杯乾杯乾杯。はい。可愛いありがとう。Thank you。乾杯。Hi everyone, Samuel here. Welcome back to another video. So I'm out here today in Tokyo, in Ueno, in the night time, which I usually don't do. I always go out during the day because I like to have good light or a lot of light. But today I'm trying out to do some night street photography and I brought someone with me who does shoot in the night all the time. And this guy is... Hey everyone. Okay, so this is Lucas. Maybe introduce yourself? Sure, yeah. So uh, I've been here in Japan for a long time. I'm a photographer here in Japan. Uh, I do workshops here. I'm originally from Poland, but yes. I grew up in the US. And my name is Lucas. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, he came here today to show me a little bit uh, of Ueno, some uh, secret locations or good spots to shoot. So, what is your fascination with uh, night photography? Well, you know, Tokyo to me is like kind of truly itself at night in a sense. Mm -hmm. That's when I when I see the, the night, you know, all the colors and the lights and everything and the things that happen, you know, people are out doing you know, stuff in the city. I always feel like that's the real the real deal. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's Tokyo. That probably is just my opinion. I mean, daytime's fine too, right? But uh, it just um, resonates with me somehow. So yeah. And then in terms of photography, it's very beautiful, colorful, yeah. interesting. That's lights definitely and like a mm. totally different mood in the night. Yeah. And you have this quiet, it's mm. not quiet right now, mm. like it's very noisy, but mm. you have this uh, like ocean of sounds mm -hmm. and it's not like this loud, you know, go to work, right. be busy, it's more like mm. uh, let's calm and relax mm. and have a drink and For it's sure. nice yeah. But to add on to that, yeah. I think there's a, it's really eerie sometimes at night, especially, yeah. I don't know if we'll do that where we're going today, we're going to be in like a busy, pretty busy area actually, when, at first. But I do like the residential streets as well, you know, where it's more calm and it is dark. You know, it's like it's like you're saying, it's quiet. It's kind of, there's this serenity to it. Mm -hmm. And you talked about rooftops before, yeah. but not in this take. <laughs> <laughs> but re but regarding rooftops, yeah. you know, when we go on the rooftops, yeah. that's also a place where it gets really quiet and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you shooting today? <laughs> well, I'm you know, contrary to most street photographers, yeah. I like giant Nikon SLRs to do my street <laughs> photography with and it's it's because of why we're here I like shooting at night mm -hmm. and up until recently if you were shooting at night you're probably going to use a big old SLR but these days all the mirrorless cameras really caught up and they're great at night too mm -hmm. but it's what I'm used to so it's just what I stick with it works really well for me and the, the size doesn't matter mm -hmm. so this is a Nikon D4 yeah and these days I'm using a 28 millimeter 1.4 prime lens but mm -hmm. I have a bunch of other primes that I used to uh, 40 millimeter all right. comes to mind mm. and you don't mind carrying that one the whole day I don't you know if I'm shooting with it it yeah. doesn't feel heavy yeah. because it's it's in my hands I'm doing stuff with it mm. if I'm just carrying it like if mm. I'm somewhere where I'm not shooting for some reason and yeah. I'm just carrying it yeah that's annoying it gets heavy because mm -hmm. it's like a dead weight but if I'm actually shooting yeah, I don't mind it it's really not so bad mm. so I'm going to use of course uh, my GR um, and lately I've been doing a lot of uh, still life or architecture photography with this guy because I can shoot it like at very low shutter speeds like one fourth of a second but for today I'm also going to shoot film this is kind of a reveal because I haven't really done a video about it but I got my first film camera Ta-da! <laughs> um, this is uh, the Minolta CLE a camera that I always wanted it's kind of it kind of looks like a Leica, right? But um, it is very advanced. It has aperture priority and it has a 28mm lens on it. It has frame lights for the 28, so it's perfect for me because I love 28. So I use these cameras nowadays, 28 digital, 28 on film. And in terms of film, um, right now I have HP5 in it, but uh, I'm going to try to use uh, Cinestill, Cinestill 800T which if you know this film is kind of ideal in this scenario um, because of all the lights and the, the sinister gives it like a blooming effect it can be too much sometimes but i think i'm going to try this one out today it's not important that every step has mm. oh shit you didn't rewind the film did you oh shit oh shit yeah, that's gonna be fun 
Okay, so where are we going first? What is the first spot? Well, we're gonna go to Ame Yokocho, which yeah. is uh, like a little alley here, a little market. There's mm -hmm. a, I mean, the fish, there's a fish market. It might be closed already because it's nighttime. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, we'll see yeah. what we get. There's gonna be some kind of market for sure. Yeah. A lot of lights, lots of people, and we'll start there. Probably some yeah. izakayas. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably some izakayas and things like that, yeah. some bars. And we'll check that out. And then we'll go burn in the side streets where it's a little more calm and quiet. Okay. And the red light district. <laughs> yeah, just the, the red with the green coming through. I love that. Mm. Yeah. A couple more of that. And you're not even at the first spot and you're already shooting. I mean, this is the first spot. <laughs> <laughs> the spots are uh, everywhere, you know. I can't see the, the green so much, unfortunately. That's the Lucas we know from the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah? Just shooting? Yeah. Once things, once things get going at night, I just, I just shoot a ton. Like, I'm always stopping and shooting something. Even if it doesn't turn out maybe good or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, just trying stuff. But let's go, let's go over here. Sneaky. Well, it wasn't so much to be sneaky, it's just because there was no time. Yeah. And I was already late. He here was already done drinking the bubble tea, so it was just too late. Let's go through this little passage. Yeah. I love this guy's double take. Did you see that? Huh? He was drinking his beer, and he was drinking, he saw me, and he was like, he was like... <laughs> So yeah, I like these passages because you can tell there's tons of people. It's not that it's a secret, but you don't get a lot of photographers or tourists or things like that. So it's just mm. like off the beaten path kind of thing, right? Yeah. And it's very lively, very energetic, very chaotic, and that's where I like to shoot. It's a fun, fun place to shoot. So where we are? Well, we are in a little fish market here in Ameyokocho, in Ueno. And... Um, that's it, it's a fish market. I don't know much about it, to be honest, beyond that. But it's been here probably for a long time. It's quite old, you can tell it's kind of run down in a, in a good way. And there's tons of real fresh fish. Here's a nice view of some fish. This is the, the other fish market that people don't go to usually. Well, I mean, obviously lots of people do, it's crowded, but like tourists is what I mean. So everyone goes to Tsukiji. I like this place a lot more. It's more interesting for shooting. Oh. Yep. That's nice. This is where my 28 maybe is not the best lens for this shot, but you know, it's not bad. For every child. Oh, there's a lot of people in here right now. It's like a little little balcony, right? And then like from here you can see out onto the street. What does that mean? <laughs> what? What does that mean? That the camera will blow smoke, pink smoke out of it? I don't know what that means. Here's a sick shot. Are you doing some long exposure? Stuff? Like not long, but like a thirtieth of a second. So if the train comes, we just drag in the shutter and mm -hmm. then have that Ameyoko sign with the reflection up here. Mm -hmm. I like this. So here we can talk about settings a little bit. All right, so, uh, share your secrets. Yeah, well, so one secret is, well, first, just a note. Usually, mm -hmm. like when we're walking around, uh -huh. I was shooting on aperture priority. I like aperture priority. Uh -huh. I think a lot of street photographers use either aperture or manual. Those mm -hmm. are the two. And I like aperture because I don't want to think too much about my settings constantly. I want to focus on moments and stuff. Yeah. And with aperture, I keep my ISO on auto with mm -hmm. a max cap, you know? Yeah. Fuji's can do that, Sony's can do that, Nikon's can do that, Canon. Yeah. And I have a minimum shutter speed, and that's usually 250, okay? Mm, that's so pretty fast for it's a pretty, night. Yeah. Pretty fast for a night, yeah, because that's why I use this camera, because yeah. the ISO ends up high, but it's fine, it's not mm. noisy. And then I'll have a, this lens goes to 1.4, but I might be on 2 or 2.8. Okay, mm -hmm. yep. so that's usual. But for this shot, I, I want to drag my shutter. I want to do like a mm -hmm. 30th of a second because mm -hmm. I don't really need speed. I want that blurry train. Yeah. So what I usually do is I, I want to keep my shutter 
and my aperture under control, but I don't care about the ISO. So yep. I put it on my camera on M, mm -hmm. and the ISO stays on auto. Yep. So that's, I guess, the trick. It was a long explanation for maybe not much of a trick, but it's a quick way to go from like fast shooting, which is aperture mode, mm -hmm. to slow shooting, which I do on manual, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, I put on a 30th, maybe mm -hmm. f2.8 in this case, and I'm underexposing by one stop because there's a lot of in general at night, I like to underexpose by at least one stop because mm -hmm. then you're going to protect your highlights and you can bring out the shadows and post and that's how you get those beautiful vivid colors, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm minus one. I might even try minus two. Let me see that it again. It's a bit risky today. In terms <laughs> of what? The exposure compensation. To go minus two? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that's dark on the camera here. Mm -hmm. But when I look at my histogram, you mm -hmm. see how it's all on the left, but it's not going like off the left. Yeah, yeah. So I'm confident this is totally fine. Yeah. But having said that, I think two is a little bit mini much. So I could do minus like 1.7 or 1.3. And then I'm going to make us wait here for a bit until the, the train goes by. The one that's mm -hmm. right on the first track, yeah. which is going to, oh, here it is. I was going to say it's going to take a while, but there it is. Awesome. Cool. Get a little closer, a little farther. Drag the shutter a little more, maybe. Try a 15. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Kind of a chaotic scene, but it's it's cool. Yeah, I will tell you so you can see. Yeah. That. Right. There's a lot going on, but I like the red and the blue. There's red here, red here, blue here, blue there. Yeah. And in terms of Mm -hmm. uh, hidden spots. I've been in this building. This is, I guess, that hidden spots that we were talking about. But mm -hmm. I've never shot this photo. That was an idea right now. Oh, ah, okay. It just came up. So seriously, I didn't have this pre-planned. It was just like, <laughs> hey, cool, the sign's there. Mm -hmm. I never noticed the sign is so close to, to out the window here. Yeah, so it's kind of yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And then for night shooting, because we're going to go back into the streets probably, I go back to aperture mode. So my mm -hmm. 250 minimum shutter speed is back. So mm -hmm. I can make sure I get crisp photos of people as I'm walking along. So, All right. so that's a little tip. But we'll talk about that again probably <laughs> at other spots. Yep. All right. That, that's my problem. I do tend to overshoot things. You know? Well, I know I got a cool shot already, but then I just keep going. So that's like what we were doing just now with the, all these crazy reflection effects of like this piece of metal right here mm -hmm. and the train going by and the window and of course the main sign out there. Which by the way, the sign says Ame Yoko, which yeah. is the name of this, this yeah, market that we're talking about. And then the settings I did for that one was a pretty slow shutter, 1 over 60. In this case, mm -hmm. I, I do have a 1.4 lens, so I did f1.4. Mm -hmm. The ISO was automatically chosen to be 320. And I was telling the camera to do underexpose by one stop. I was minus one stop because I knew it would overexpose yeah. this kind of scene because there's always a lot of um, mm. black stuff in the foreground. Nice. Yeah. But strictly speaking, you don't need 1.4 for that. I just mm. want to tell people, they think, oh, I got to have 1.4 lens. Yeah. If I had a 2.8 lens, I would have shot it the same way. It would have looked mm. a little different. It would still look really good. Yeah. And I have a couple 2.8 shots because on 1.4, like, you know how hit or miss 1.4 can be. Sometimes you think it's great, you come home, it's like nothing sharp. Yeah. And then you end up using the 2.8 shot because actually that one looks fantastic. So mm. if I have it, I use it. If I don't, I don't, I don't worry about it. It's not mm. a big deal. That's a cool shot. Yeah. You know, part of, part of this like shooting the city is just like, oh shit. Oh, it's missing. Okay, just, just leave it. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Check it out. You want to have a glass of sake? You want to have a glass of sake and loosen up a little bit? Why not? I want like a Japanese one. Is this Japanese? Yeah. You want authentic? Yeah. I want authentic, right? Dry, extra dry. Extra Which dry. Which one is dry? Yeah, just too dry. Cool. Kassan, this is Moon Mountain. Uh huh. Oh, that's a big cup. Yeah, I know. Kanpai! 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 Nice! Thank you! Nice! Great! Well, this is a really good idea, this sake on the street. I don't, I don't come here, like, you know, 
on this exact street like mm. every week or anything. So I don't know when this opened, but it wasn't here like a year ago, let's say, right? Mm. I don't remember seeing this before. So it's got to be pretty new. And it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and like only in Japan, like drinking on the street, you yeah. know? It's a very common thing. Which is, by the way, forbidden in uh, Hamburg. I know, it's forbidden yeah. like everywhere. In America, this would be totally forbidden. Yeah. Like, literally, I mean, we would be stealing the cups, but if we walked down the mm. street with these cups, it would be fine mm. in this country. That's freedom. Hi, hi, Yori Gato. Cool. Just dump it all. Thank you. Thank you. See you. So rooftops, right? Yeah. And there's a place around here that I've been wanting to try. Okay, yeah. so let's try it. Let's check okay. it out. It's probably a good thing that place was closing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the sake place? Yeah. Uh, that was a, a good thing. It was a blessing. It was a bit dangerous. Yeah, it was dangerous, <laughs> right? Exactly. That was a place where like they were like, oh, you know, like next drink is 50% off. It's like, oh shit, that would have been terrible. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad it closed. That was uh, good for us. The video can continue. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's a basic shot. It's this one, it's not like some super fancy photo, but it's a cool view. Mm. With all the signage and everything, everything's red. Mm. Sometimes it's okay to just take a, mm? you know, a pretty standard shot that looks cool, and it's like a starting point, right? You know, yeah. I think it's okay to start with something basic and then work your way up you know it doesn't hurt and I mean I've shot this a billion times before but every time you shoot something like that sometimes you'd be surprised you might find something some different ang angle on it or a different mm -hmm. aspect of it so it's worth trying yep. cat meeting over here oh hi guys Sometimes there's like staff working here or doing mm. stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christmas music. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The light is nice here. This is beautiful right now. Yeah. I should take a, yeah. this one yeah. film shot. This to me is fantastic, so... So you're underexposing. Yeah, so I'm actually yeah. on minus 3.0 for this shot because, mm -hmm. by the way, I use the the metering I'm using is like the average metering. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like to use spot. I get that in this case, I probably should just use spot and put it on the lamps, yeah. put it on the on the signs. But I find moving the spot around is very tedious. Yeah. So I just use the average, and then I just kind of figure out how much I'm going to underexpose or overexpose. Mm -hmm. so in this case, minus three to get the signs well exposed. Right, mm -hmm. and the shadows are fairly dark, but I want the signage correct. So yeah. eh, it's not the most. The, the other angle was better. This mm -hmm. is the less interesting shot, but still, underexposing by a lot at night, I think, is a key thing for you know, as a tip for people who are just getting into night photography. You do want to underexpose minus one, maybe minus two, and in the rare case, minus three. Right? Alrighty, mm -hmm. let's keep going. <laughs> So we're going to go on that building. We're going to go on those stairs over there with all the signs and colorful stuff on them. That's yeah. where we're going. All right? Yes. We're not going to take the elevator. Why not? Well, because sometimes what happens is the elevator, the doors open and you're inside a restaurant or something. Um. And then you have to pretend you're stupid and be like, uh, is this the Shabu Shabu? <laughs> you know? And then they're like, did I park my car here? Sorry. <laughs> so see, the elevator will be in there, right? Yeah. So it's better just to take the stairs and avoid that whole thing. Mm -hmm. So so here we are, <laughs> urban hiking. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't been here in a couple of years actually, mm -hmm. but this is kind of a classic spot for me. I found this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I've been here before. This is a spot I found. Oh man, six years ago or something like that, around yeah. then. Long time ago. Yeah. Mm. And I've only been back once or twice. So this is actually mm. a rare spot for me. Mm. I think the last time I came here, I didn't have a D4. I had a D3. So that was mm. ages ago. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Well, and what is? What is? I don't know. What did you just photograph? Well, I yeah. photographed this view, and, and it, I know it doesn't really look like much, mm. just looking at it. But I love this. This is. Well, maybe this particular view is not that great. It's pretty yeah. good. But this type of view is what I love. These are the best views. The views mm -hmm. where you can see all the machinery and the antennas, the wires, and you know the grit of the city, right? You can see all the layers. Yeah. The, the city like, looks kind of like, like fungus growing, you know? Like mm -hmm. all these little bits growing up out of the, out of the ground. Yeah. And remember earlier we were talking about like how if it's like um, mm -hmm. very serene or peaceful at night, mm -hmm. up here it's very, I mean, you hear that, right? Not the machine, the machine's annoying, it's just yeah, the machine. Yeah. But the crossing, it's the signal sound, right? Yeah. That's, I don't know if that mic's picking that up, but mm -hmm. it sounds great. And you don't hear the people anymore, the cars sound far away, there's this kind of calmness up here. I love that about coming up on the roofs. That's why I do it. Mm. That's what got me doing it in the first place. Photos came second. I was like, oh, actually, there's some cool photography to be done up here. But at mm, first, it was just okay. purely about curiosity, just yeah. exploring these places. back down so the weird thing about going up on the rooftops and spending a couple hours up there mm -hmm. and especially when I first started doing it is then when you go back on the streets you have this kind of weird feeling of being like back in reality mm -hmm. you just woke up from a dream or something yeah um, it's just like you know but being out of the street for a little while it kind of is more mm -hmm. vivid when you come back to it you know yeah. it's something I noticed mm -hmm. Yeah, this mm. is the red light district in Ueno. And so there's like a lot of ladies bars, girls bars, you know, bunny bars around here, stuff like mm. that. But what I like about it is just how gritty it is. Just mm. spots like this, all these pipes and, you know, all this kind of stuff. Mm. And I like shooting this with no people, but if I can get people in the scenes and doing some, you know, human stuff, mm -hmm. great, even better. I was actually, you know, I'm just out shooting. I would wait, I would wait quite a while mm -hmm. for another person to come through. And the trick is in that moment, that guy was like right behind me. So I didn't have much time to focus. But next time someone comes, I would like pre-focus on the distance where I want him. Like a zone focus, right? Except yeah. without using the zone dial, but just auto-focusing to that distance. And then just wait, and then I don't, I, I would nail it. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of patience for this kind of shot if you miss it on the first one. Yeah, is this guy coming? Maybe? He's nowhere near, it's cool. Nah, okay, so we go on. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what are you doing there? Well, I'm using this piece of steel as a tripod. <laughs> and I'm doing a one second exposure, so let's see how that turns out. And I take a lot, like all at once, mm -hmm. because you know one of them might be blurry anyway. Yeah, well, that that's a really nice yeah. idea. And yeah, that was great. Yeah. So now I realize I did that in F two, 
that's how I was, I was being forgetful. F5.6 instead. Mm. So here, let me get one more. Focus on the blue thing back there. And I kind of like lean into it. It should be fine. Look at that. Everything's tech sharp. Nice. ISO was 280, one second. Hmm. Done. <laughs> Let's go crazy. F8. That's probably too much. Too I really like F4 just to be safe. F4. Okay, fine. F8. <laughs> okay, I'll just go for it. So, framing. <laughs> Maybe I can do this. If the top of the camera is flat, it'll work. Oh but, no, it, but it's, then you can't push the shutter. It's stupid because I, yeah, yeah, I can't press yeah, the shutter. Yeah, yeah. I'll do this one. Um, but I want to see. Damn it. Well, for me, I like just having it vertical, and that makes oh. everything, all the, the vertical lines vertical. So you're mm -hmm. gonna have a little too much of the top of the, you know, the ceiling. Yeah. But I think that's okay for the purposes of the shot. Okay. Let's hear how long it is. Sounded like almost two seconds. Yeah, I think it was like that was like half. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Telekimas. Telekimas. So if, if people want to visit this place, yeah. But I don't remember the name. We gotta look this. <laughs> すいませんあこのこの店の名前はカツジロですかオッケーありがとうカツジロカツジロ犬上の Got it? <laughs> So I went from this, mm -hmm. you know, a little closer, a little closer, <laughs> a little closer, and a little closer. I'm pretty happy now mm -hmm. with the distance. I think I'm, I'm close enough. Japanese girlfriend, mm -hmm. she calls me uh, was it Gokiburi? She calls me a cockroach. Yeah. My wife, yeah. fiance, soon to be wife, because I'm always hanging out in these dirty ass alleys like a cockroach. <laughs> so I don't know if I should be proud or disappointed, but here we are in a cockroach land. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Nice smell. Yeah. Something's grilling. That's kind of cool. Very gritty. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a neat spot. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing fancy. It's right by the station, but I like this golden light from these sodium vapor lamps, right? This little arrow thing here is like a bicycle parking, so people come in and out of there sometimes. Yeah, that can make for a nice shot. So there's nobody there right now, but you get the idea. This kind of composition and mm -hmm. then somebody walking through there. Yeah. You know, so it's thing I like. Another thing I like about Ueno is just how messy the station is in terms of levels. Like mm -hmm. we're like. What is it, the first, second yeah, floor? We're right. like on the 0.5 floor right now, like a little bit elevated. And that gives you a lot of creative opportunities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of fun. Yeah, the way he just stopped in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would need to be cropped pretty heavily and stuff, but <laughs> you get the idea. Like, this yeah. is an interesting little place to, to mess around with this kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are almost at the end of our tour, right? We are back at the station. Yep. Because uh, I think the station is very nice. We have a huge mm. open space. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else do you think we can do here? 
Well, we're gonna <laughs> shoot from the top of this little walkway we're on. Yeah. It was supposed to rain, yeah. so we were gonna have umbrellas. But we are kind of a little bit upset that it didn't rain yeah, because it's nice. been nicer. The rain yeah. is great at night in Tokyo, especially. But you know, whatever. Without the rain, it's still nice. And then we'll check out that last little alleyway over there. Okay. With the little uh, snack bars. Yep. Chimpiri chimp. Huh? <laughs> Chimpity what? Chimpity chimp? Chimpity chimp. Yeah, chimpity chimp, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the convenience of digital photography. <laughs> It's not a great shot, but see, it was like a taxi driver and that sign was behind him, kind of like a silhouette. Mm -hmm. That's why I was running. waiting for the same thing like oh we're just waiting for these guys to fuck off <laughs> so that they can you know come in here without being photographed <laughs> but you know in street photography patience is like the most important thing by far mm -hmm. See any tourists around? <laughs> All right, good enough. I'm happy. We should go before some yakuza's come and fuck us up. <laughs> That's straight, yeah? Mm -hmm. But I'm a fan of doing something like this, where I create this diagonal line here, mm -hmm. the stairs are more in the corner there, and there's a more interesting space for these kanji to be up there on the wall. So I tilted my frame a bit. I, I'm gonna shoot it that way once the right person comes along. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be work better for me. That has nothing to do with day or night photography. That's just how I shoot. I like mm -hmm. angles. Mm -hmm. It has to be perfect, right? Oh yeah, for I, sure. I only get one chance. You need like a really nice umbrella or yeah. something, red umbrella. Guy in a suit with an umbrella would be nice. Yep. Or a lady, yeah. nicely dressed lady with a red umbrella, bright colored umbrella of some kind. Kind of feels like uh, Steve McCurry shooting his last Kodachrome. Yeah, wow. kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what I want, you know, someone on the staircase would be mm. nice. No, I want two people, my ideal scene, two people with an umbrella, maybe a couple going upstairs, and a lonely dude, All right. a salary man. There's a lady with a red umbrella coming. Oh, <laughs> this is not what I want. I'm not kidding though. I know, I know. And then next to her is a couple with an umbrella, a black one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. I think you should, you should line that up and be ready. Oh, the couple stopped, it's only her. Motion blur. I took the shot. Yeah, motion blur. All right. 
Okay, let's see just one more for fun. Yeah. Oh, I actually had one more. I'm still going. Yeah. See, I took another one. I'm over. Fuck it, I took it. <laughs> yep, was my last one. We are done. I think this is going to be one of those cases where I know I'm going to have to come back here because getting all four lanes, which is what I would really want, mm -hmm. is going to be very, very unlikely. That's something. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll have to come back here one day and try that again with the mm -hmm. tripod. But it's not, not bad at all. all right, this is it. how weather sealed life looks like. <laughs> it's taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of the rain, huh? <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's it. Uh, I don't have any more film on my camera left. And yeah, thanks so much for showing me Ueno. Mm. It was really fun mm. getting to know all these little alleyways. Mm. And mm. I definitely need to come back and uh, maybe bring two more roads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so maybe tell us where can people find you, mm. your Instagram, your social links, mm. all that good stuff. So the best place is my homepage, which is lkazphoto.com. And then from there, you can find my Instagram, you can find my Tumblr, which is tuckerstreet.photo. And, you know, it's easy from there. On my homepage, all my social media links are there, so it should be easy to find me from there. Mm. But you're also doing YouTube videos, right? I am, and yeah. kind of recently started. So our channel is small, mm. but I do instructional photography YouTube videos, like tutorials. Well, let me get in there with you. Yeah, it's, it's a bit loud, so I will close yeah, yeah, it yeah. in. So I have a YouTube channel, and on this channel I post like online video tutorials, like a couple minutes long, explaining like, how to do a long exposure, you know, how to do like a zoom blur or whatever, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Mm. And the channel is called I Explore, E Y E X P L O R E. Mm. And yep. it's actually the name of my company where we also provide photography workshops. That's how I make my living. I teach mm -hmm. photography for a living, but I like to share my content for free on YouTube. So that's what we do. Nice. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks so much for today. It was awesome. Had a good time. We are wet yeah. and that's yeah. uh, always a good get thing. Out of the rain now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, mm. Shooting in the rain mm. is fun. <laughs> It was fun. Oh, damn it, I don't know how to end this f***ing video. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I'm good at, I'm good at this kind of shit. All right, well, thanks for joining us in Ueno, shooting at night, in the rain, oh. with Samuel. See you in the next video. <laughs> right? <laughs> Going out in the rain. Oh, man, what are, what are we doing? Easy ride.